Mount Ugo is a popular hiking destination located in the borderline province of Nueva Vizcaya and Benguet. It has an elevation of 2,200 meters above sea level. Mount Ugo offers marvelous views of the surrounding mountains of the Cordillera region, pine forests, villages, and high-lined rice paddies. Mount Ugo came from Uguan, which is an Ibaloy word that means to cut the neck. It was said that the mountain was named as such due to the oral tradition that Mount Ugo is the place where the invading Spaniards were killed. In spite of a somewhat violent etymology, Mount Ugo can be seen as a monument to the fierce determination of its locals to defend their way of life. The trail from Mount Ugo traverses stretches from Kayapan, Nueva Vizcaya to the village of Tinongdan in Itogon, Benguet. Mount Ugo traverse trail length today total is 25 kilometers. It crosses two provinces, namely Nueva Vizcaya and Benguet. Mount Ugo is ideally hiked in a two-day itinerary. However, on a fast-paced group, Mount Ugo can also be hiked in a day. Usually, 13 to 16 hours of hiking to complete the traverse. Right now we are in Nueva Vizcaya. Uh, plan is to go to Mount Ugo. Glad to be back here. It's been years. Uh, we're gonna use the Kayapa side to go up Mount Ugo and then traverse down to Itogon Benguet. So we're really, really excited, hoping for a good weather. Right now there are 10 of us instead of 11. Uh, it's, uh, sad to hear that Carlos couldn't make it. Okay, we just passed Indupit Village. Wow. 3km 800 gain. It's VK. Good view. Good view. Uh, very much Cordillera. Look, Red. look at the view. Red boys. Yeah. So far, we're good. Uh, feeling good. Conserving water or gels. Uh, <laughs> it's getting cold. Some of us didn't bring jackets. Uh, too bad for them. I don't know what they're gonna do, but right now it's already cold and God knows what's gonna happen to them.
decided to uh, pass by Domol Pos. It's not part of the route we planned, but we pass here every time we hike. It's a lovely little village, uh, a lot of immersion. You can, can, you can play with the kids, sleep here, uh, cook your food. It's just so beautiful here. It's so peaceful. It's like a small little village stuck in the um, top of the mountain. You can see Ugo in the back as well. Okay, we just had a quick stop, uh, just loaded some solids because uh, we're kind of getting hungry. We're at the campsite now, almost to the summit, there, like 20 minutes away. Then from there, we're gonna go down to the single track, pine forest area. Excited! Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Hi, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ugo uh, came from the term Ugoan means to behead. So back then, when there's a tribal war, when the warriors fight, the warriors a mountain, this is where they do a duel. Whoever loses <coughs> gets their head severed, put them on a stick, and bring it back. So that's why it's called Mount Ugo. More. Good job, everyone. Summit. Yay. Yeah. Good to be back. Well, hopefully the uh, the other half of the group uh, are on are on their way. Hopefully they're near. Hopefully they catch us here, and hope that everyone's doing well. 
unharmed, well fed, and with all the toes and fingers. Right, Kevin? Hi, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So hold me real close and keep me warm The day's begun and I'm already warm by Yeah, almost got. Okay, so apparently we can't move because there's a standoff with the future beef. Too bad beef is not here. Anyway, I think we're provoking them with our red shirts. So everyone's wearing red. Anyway, no, it's kidding. Uh, yeah, a bit of a break. We we're trying to let them pass through, but they wouldn't. They're intimidated by us. So, let's keep on going. Because we got scared. They were like running behind us earlier. Let's go. <laughs> ten kilometers to uh, ten kilometers out. Yeah, to trail end, we're just gonna stay here, have our lunch. Uh, hopefully, the others will make it here too on time. Otherwise, we can just go back for them too. Anyway, it's a really nice spot here. Check it out. Here we are, end of the line. This is a new chip off road. This would be a single track now, it's been bulldozed. So the cows don't have home anymore. Yeah. 